What's up guys? I hope you're having a good night, day, morning, evening, whatever you're doing. I hope you're doing it good. This is a warning for anyone in the market to buy a Toyota within the years of 2008 to 2013. About a year ago, my 2008 Toyota Highlander started to make a rattle noise or a grinding noise on startup, on a cold start. I would start it, it would last about one to two seconds, and as I researched it more, this is a very common problem and it is a very expensive fix and if it does fail you're looking at destroying your whole motor now when I say expensive fix it's gonna cost anywhere from between thirty four hundred dollars and five thousand dollars and Toyota is not going to help you out one bit so if you're buying a car 2008 2013 it's got this noise skip it just go ahead and move on I would not take the risk okay now let me explain I'm not a mechanic but let me explain to my understanding what's going on here so there's a cam gear inside that's hooked up to your timing chain and within that cam gear there's a little pin and what's happening is the pin gets stuck okay so when you shut off your engine that pin is supposed to hold some oil on top of your engine so next time when you go to start it up it's nice and lubricated However, since that pin is stuck, it's allowing all the oil to go to the bottom. So when you start it up, you hear that clatter until the oil is circulated. Now, what I show you here in this video, this isn't like that bad of a scenario. Like mine has been much worse than this. It's just different every single time I start it. Sometimes it's just super loud and crazy. And sometimes it's just like you hear in this video. But the thing is, is that this is very known problem known issue and if something were to fail if these bolts come out or this rattling goes apart it can destroy your whole engine and then you're just out a whole engine so I've done lots of research seen tons of people with this issue I've only found one person um, on this website here for one or freak where the bolts actually did back themselves out and it destroyed his old engine. He had to get a new engine. So, he's, you know, he's basically screwed. So, I've also seen lots of people who have just ignored this problem. And the problem has started anywhere from 7,000 miles to 70,000 miles. Mine started about 150,000 miles. Now I'm at 166,000 miles. But I've seen people drive on this problem for over a hundred thousand miles with this being you know the noise being the only issue so it's kind of a gamble but at the same time it's a very expensive fix so um, some things that people have tried including myself is adding Lucas to your oil just to try to make it a little thicker thinking that it would keep some oil up there on top however the Lucas does not help out whatsoever if anything it makes that oil thicker so it takes longer to circulate when you first start it. So I just wanted to warn everyone out there that is looking into buying um, you know, a Toyota in this year range. If you go and it makes this noise on startup, just pass it. It's just going to be, you know, it could be a huge problem or not in the future. But it's just best to stay away from it. And Toyota will not help. Um, I will put up the TSB on the screen and also a number that you can call and maybe if enough of us bring this to Toyota's attention we can get a full recall and get all of our cars fixed so I hope this warning helps you and that's it